The function wizard is Excel's cheat tool. It allows you to find the correct function to use in various situations, understand what a function does, understand the syntax required in each function, and allows you to test some results. So as an example, if I come here, the function wizard is this little FX button. When I click on it, the screen pops up. And what this is telling us is every single function that exists in Excel. Conveniently, we've got categories here. So if we were looking for a function related to date and time, for example, we could click on that category. And you'll see that we have a list of functions. Notice that as you click on the function, a description is given here of what it does. And over here, you've got a bit of a search functionality. So let's create a function. As you can see, we're in that cell there. And the one I want to use, over here, you'll see there's a function called EO month. If you read it, it says returns the serial number of the last day of the month before or after a specified number of months. Now, unfortunately, I think sometimes some technical people wrote this. In English, it says it gives you the end of month. Once I click on it, when I say OK, you'll see you get a different box. And what this guides you through is every component that is required. And you'll notice that when you click here, start date, it actually tells you what it's looking for. Start date is the serial date. So what we can do is we can build the formula app via the dialog boxes instead of directly in the formula bar. So in this case, it's asking for the date to use. So I'm going to say, please look at that cell over there. Notice it's captured here and here. Months is the number of months before or after the start date. So what it's asking is it's going to give you the end of month, the last day of the month, but it wants to know must it give you the current month. So if we're in the 1st of January and I type a zero there, it's going to give you 31st of January. If instead I type a one, it's going to go the current month, one month forward, last day of the month. Notice as well with the function wizard that as you make references, the numbers are pulled through, it gives you an answer, and it gives you an answer formatted. So when I click OK, it shows me 28th of February, because we looked at the 1st of January, told it to go one month forward, and give us the end of that month. So the function wizard can be used to build up any function, and is hopefully a little bit more clear on what is required. How else can we use the function wizard? Notice over here, we've got a formula, and it's a bit of a strange formula. Perhaps you've never seen it before. Instead of going off to Google or do something else, just click on the cell, click the function wizard, and it will take you straight to that function. You'll then be able to see the description. So in this case, it returns the cumulative interest paid between two periods, and actually see what is required, what the numbers are, what the answer is. If you're still not clear on what the function does, you can click help on this function. And what this will do is take you to the help function. It'll take you exactly to that function. It won't be like the normal search where you get a number of options and you're still not sure which one to do. If you're still not clear here, you then come to a website like ours to understand what the function is actually doing. What about the situation where, like in this cell, you have more than one function in the cell? And let's say we know what the if does, we know what the sum does, but we're not sure what roundup does. If you, while you click on the cell, click the function with it, it will always bring up the first function, the if function. So in order to bring up the roundup function, you just click anywhere in that word, and then you click the function with it, and you'll see it brings up the roundup function, which tells us that it rounds a number up away from zero.